Hi, welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I am going to share with you how you can download a file, a folder, or a whole project from any GitHub repository. Let's start with how you can download a specific folder from GitHub. Sometimes, a GitHub repository contains lots of files and directories, and you are only interested in downloading a particular folder. So, what you can do about this? Let's look at an example repository of mine. For example, this is my platform IO project repository, and it contains self-contained independent project folders that I am grouping for each blog that I am creating. If you are only interested in downloading a certain folder, for example, this particular project, which is the ESP32 coin acceptor, then you can do the following. First, locate the folder that you want to download by clicking the folder name and then taking note of the URL above. In my case in here, this is the name of the or the URL of the folder. Next, navigate into this very useful URL. I'll put a link in the description of this video. And then just paste the folder name in here and then click enter. Once you click the enter, as you can see, it now starts zipping all the files in that particular folder, which in my case in here is here. And then after the files are zip then it starts downloading in it and then after downloading then it now is able to download the file so let's see if you click open then you can see that this these are the files that is currently included in that particular folder so what you can do is open this file into the uh, any code editor that you want and then verify if something is missing or not so, that's basically how easy to download any particular folder from any directory. Next, if you have no issues about downloading the whole GitHub project or repository and you want to have a local copy of the whole project on your workstation, then you can do the following. There's actually two options to choose. One is you can download the whole zip file. So, let's try. You just click the code in here and then click the, the download zip. Once you click the download zip, then GitHub will download to you the zip file of the whole project. So let's see, as you can see, there is a message here. And then we, if we click open, then you would notice that it was able to download the whole file into my local uh, file system. So the other options that you can do is you can go with using Git client so that we can download the whole GitHub repository. The formal term is cloning the GitHub repository as you will now ha having a local copy of the GitHub project in your workstation. You can actually even update the code and commit it back into the GitHub, GitHub if you have access. If you want to do or follow this route, then here's what you can do. First, you need to install Git client for your operating system. You can just go into this uh, URL or website and then download the appropriate Git client for your project. In my case in here, I'm in Windows, so I'm downloading Windows. If you are using Linux or Mac OS, then just follow the steps or direction on how to install Git client on your workstation. Now, once the Git is installed, just open a Git client for a terminal in Linux or in Mac OS. Then, inside the Mac OS, uh, inside the terminal, you can just copy again the URL of the Git, GitHub repository. Just copy this one and then go into your terminal and then just type git clone and then insert the Git repository. Once the clone is finished, you can just go or cd into this particular folder. Now, you can just click ls-l. And you would notice that the folders that, it, that is in my GitHub repository is now downloaded in my uh, local file system. That's the other option if you wanted to download the whole project or the whole repository in your local files. Now, the last option that is being asked most often is that is there a way to download only a specific file from a particular repository? That's actually easy, and what you can do is just go into the GitHub repository, 
and then click any any folder in here and it will show you this navigation and then in this input text just type the name of the file that you wanted to download in my case in here let's type type OLED and the, it will show me the list of files that matches or closely matches my search term. In my case in here, I'm going to go with this file, which is the OLED underscore displayer Just click this one. And upon clicking, you would notice that it shows me the file that I wanted to download. Now, you can have different options on how you wanted to download this particular file. First one is you can click this row button. So, for example, I'm going to uh, right-click it. And you would notice that it's now shown me the raw file. And then you can just click Save. And then save the file to your local file system. Another option is there is a button here called Copy Raw File. So, you can copy this one and then paste it in any of your text pad or notepad application. The other easiest option is just click this raw file or download raw file. If you click this one, then GitHub will tell you that the OLED that's underscore display that CPP is now downloaded. So basically, that's the three options that you can do if you wanted to download a file, a folder, or a whole GitHub repository into your local file system. And that's it. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!